Hey guys, what's up? Sterling here, and welcome to the last video for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field Month. Um, I don't really have any other plans for videos for Crash Team Racing Nitro Field Month. I tried to think of more ideas, but this honestly was the last one that uh, I want to do, so yeah. Um, but uh, in this video, I am going to be uh, ranking all of the Grand Prix for the game. Um, I'm going to give a rating for each Grand Prix, give my opinion of them, and then afterwards I'm going to um, say what I think is... Like, I'm going to put them best to worst, like in a, um, a top list. So yeah, let's start with uh, Nitro Tour, the very first one. Um, and by the way, the ratings, um, similar to when I ranked the skins, characters, and carts, um, A plus means I loved it, A means I really liked it, B means I just liked it, C means I thought it was okay, D means I did not like it, and F means I hated it. So, uh, with Nitro Tour, I would give it an A. I really liked it. I thought it was a really good way to, uh start things off um i mean you know when the grand prix came out i did try to it took time for me to get used to it because it was you know completely new um it was a little like weird in the beginning but the more i played the game i got very used to it and i completed it right before uh, the grand prix ended i remember but i really like this one i uh really like the track um, I love the fact that they brought in the Trophy Girls and Tana as new characters. And, uh, you know, as you know, Isabella is my favorite of the Trophy Girls and one of my favorite characters ever. Um, and, uh, I love the cards that they brought in, like the Band of Buggy and the Rocket and the Lechokes. Um, and even they brought in the best character skin ever which is biker crash so yeah i thought the twilight tour was really good i would have to give it uh, an a the next one on the other hand back end time uh i would have to give this one a d i thought it was a step down from uh, uh nitro tour it just uh wasn't very fascinating i mean the only thing that i really liked about it was the the track prehistoric playground i thought it was a good track but everything else oh and also i do really like the probulot 2000 cart they, that uh, they brought in and i don't mind the professor crash skin but everything else i mean i didn't care for uh baby crash and baby coco baby t was an okay character uh, the other cards that they brought in, like the Nostalginator and the, um, that, the Mammoth cart, you know, just, it wasn't very appealing. It was kind of a disappointing, uh, Grand Prix, to be honest. And this was one of the three Grand Prix that I did not complete. So, yeah, and this one I didn't complete for a particular reason, because I just didn't really like it. I wasn't getting into it. And plus, this was when a lot of people... We're losing interest in the game because, uh, you know, of this Grand Prix and this was when they added the microtransactions and then later on people thought, oh, it's not that bad and that's when they went back to playing the game. So, um, yeah, just, I would give this a D. I didn't like it. The next one, on the other hand, Spyro and Friends Grand Prix. This one's an A+. I loved it. Um... I loved how it was just such an awesome crossover between Crash and Spyro, and this was the first Grand Prix where uh, you get a different title screen. Um, with this one, it was like where gems were uh, on the bottom of the screen, and then you had Crash and Spyro uh, on the logo, so I thought that was pretty cool, but, you know, I love playing as Spyro, he's my second favorite character of all time to play as, um, and I do like to play as Hunter from time to time, um, Nasty Nork though, you know, I really wish they brought in Ripto instead of Nasty Nork, because Nasty Nork is just a boring, lame villain, I don't care for Nasty Nork, in my opinion, and I love the carts, um, I love the dragonfly, 
I love the um, the the Spyro Mobile, and even uh, I don't mind the Nork uh, card, but I don't really play as it a whole lot. And um, I also like uh, I love the Wizard Komodo Joe skin that they brought in, and it's stupid how they had to bring in the Mind Over Mutant skins, uh, Evil Coco and Evil Crunch. I thought that was dumb. But I love this Grand Prix. It was really good. A plus, definitely. And the next one, Spooky Grand Prix. This one has to be an A triple plus. Because when they announced this, and even you guys probably remember back, you know, when I had the video up, I did uh, a reaction video to it. I was mind blown because this was when they, uh, after the Spyro Grand Prix was done, they announced the next three Grand Prix. And. I was mind blown at this one because they were going to bring in Komodo Mo and that literally just made me so happy because, you know, I Komodo Mo was the one character I wanted to see. Um, I knew that they would bring him in at some point because if you can have Joe, you can definitely have Mo. Um, and it was also cool that they brought in Brio and Nina and the skins, um, firefighter dingo dial i loved that was definitely uh an awesome skin and that's my favorite skin for dingo dial um and then uh i did like uh the werewolf tiny but you know tiny is a character that i play from time to time so yeah and the carts um i do i don't like the natalis i can't really get too much into the natalis but the Skull Rider and the Phantom, I love. Those are really awesome cards. And I love the uh, the track. That's probably... The Nina's Nightmare track is definitely my favorite uh, of the Grand Prix tracks. It's just... It, I get a Luigi's Mansion type vibe to it. And it's definitely great. It was a great Grand Prix for Halloween. This one is definitely my favorite um, Grand Prix. So yeah, definitely an A plus triple. The next one... Uh, Neon Circus Grand Prix, I'd give this one a B, I liked it, I didn't think it was great, but it was good, it did have some good stuff to it though, um, I did like the uh, Koala Carnival track, I thought it was really nice and colorful, uh, I loved the uh, the skins that they brought in um, for Cortex and Engine, Clown Cortex and Farm Engine, those were t my two favorite skins for uh, the Grand Prix. Um, the carts, uh, I love the pressurizer and the daredevil, but I don't care for the nitro bumper to be honest. So yeah. Um, and then, uh, as for the characters they brought in, uh, these were three characters that were also on my, uh, list that I made last year that were brought in, uh, Pasadena. I don't mind her. Um, and Koala Kong I think is okay. And I don't care for, uh, Ebenezer Von Clutch, so, but it is cool that they, that they, that they brought him in, and King Chicken as well as uh, a unlockable character, and I actually do like King Chicken, believe it or not. I know that's kind of a weird character to play as, but I actually like King Chicken, um, and uh, I do think he uh, had some cool skins as well and it was it was kind of hard to unlock him but it was worth it because he is a good character um but you know I, I would give this uh this grand prix a b i mean i liked it it wasn't great but it was good so the next one uh winter festival grand prix i would give this one an a however the only problem with it was the fact that they had to bring in stupid fucking rillaroo if they didn't bring in Rillaroo, I would give this an A+, plus, definitely, but because of that, I'm just going to give it an A. Other than the fact that they brought in Rillaroo, I really like this. Um, Hasty and Yaya Panda are two really cool characters. Um, I believe, I think Sony Fangirl 1 told me that Yaya Panda was from uh, Crash Nitro Kart 2, the one that was for uh, mobiles. Um but I've never played that game, but I've never seen her before, so I thought she was an original character. Uh, Hasty, I believe, is an original character, and I like to play as Hasty from time to time. And uh, I love the uh, the cards. Um, I love the... Well, the 
the candy cone or whatever that one was that one i don't care for but i love the the snow plower and the uh the nitro sleigh um i love the skins that they brought in uh like reindeer crash and uh they brought in some other ones and also i liked how you could play as chicken stew um so yeah this one and the you know the track gingerbread joyride was really nice and fun so I really like this Grand Prix a lot. If they didn't, again, if they didn't bring in Rillaroo, I would have loved this one, but oh well. So that's with that. Uh, the next one, Rustland. Uh, I did not like this one. Um, there was a time where I did like it, but the more I thought about it, I just didn't like it. I would actually say this is my least favorite Grand Prix. Um, I wasn't a fan of the track. I didn't care for the you know, the Mega Mix Mania track, um, and I just think all the skins are either average or not that good, and the carts, I think the carts were probably the only decent thing about them, about this Grand Prix, um, but just, everything just seemed like a mess in this Grand Prix, just, you know, it, it just, if you think about it, it, just, everything was just all over the place, the, you know, the carts just seemed very messy, the skin seemed very messy, and it just wasn't very, uh, interesting, um, and I don't mind the, the, uh, Mega Mix character, I think he's all right, but, yeah, I just couldn't really, uh, get too much into this Grand Prix, um, you know, it's, I just don't like it, I just think it's kind of disastrous, so I would give this one a D, to be honest, maybe a D minus. <laughs> so, uh, and then the final Grand Prix, Gas Moxia, I would give this one an A. The only thing I didn't like about it was the, the, uh, the track, uh, drive through danger. I just thought it was a very fucking dumb track. I've always never liked drive through danger. I just thought, you know, it's, it's hard to stay on the track and it's kind of a clusterfuck at times. But other than that, I really liked how they brought in Emperor Velo, the 27th. Um, glad that they brought that in, because in my opinion, that's the real Velo. Um, I don't play as, you know, regular real Velo. I play as this Velo. Um, I do really like the uh, the cards that they brought in, uh, like the, the, uh, the Void Manta, I think is my favorite uh, space, like hovercraft. And then uh, I like how they gave the space girls all spacesuits, and uh, what, and even Spyro they gave him a, a space outfit as well. Um, and I thought it was a, a rather pretty good way to end things off with the Grand Prix. So yeah, um, I actually really like uh, Gas Moxia. And then now I'm gonna say what it was my favorite to least favorite well my favorite obviously is spooky grand prix second would have to be probably nitro tour and then i would say winter festival and then uh neon circus or no 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 back up back up i messed it up okay one is spooky grand prix second is spyro and friends Three is Nitro Tour, four is Winter Festival, five is Neon Circus, or no, no, five is Gas Moxia, six is Neon Circus, seven is Back in Time, and then eight is Rustland Grand Prix. That's how I would rank them. So there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that's uh, really all I wanted to do was to just rank them and uh, give my opinions. So. Um, coming up next will be the end of the month collection update and then afterwards I will do an update video explaining what will be happening for the month of July so stay tuned for that and uh, with that being said I am Sterling and I will see you guys later peace out